Hi everyone. I look for a lot of the different secrets and mysteries from all around the world, looking for the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, the Son of God, who was risen from the dead and took all the sins of the world away. Now the world elite, the Illuminati, the Freemasons, and even the spiritual realms that are all around us, they leave their signs and secrets right in front of us in symbolism. And on our channel, we bring all this back to the Word of God and show how we're nearing the end of days. I wanted to quickly show some of the symbolism here in the new Batman vs. Superman movie. It'll take a while to dig out all the different symbolism that was shown through there. But all through the movie, Superman is portrayed as God, as Jesus Christ in here. They call him an alien. For those that don't know it, Jesus Christ was not from this world. One of the sayings for Jesus is, not of this world. That's what he said. That's why a lot of times people even equate him to like an alien or something inhabiting the host. You could say that it's the spirit, just like God is a spirit. Our human bodies are hosts. But anyways, all through the movie, he was called basically God through there. Now, one of the main things to know is that the movie was not really like all the trailers. You know, they put out so many trailers and they make all the trailers seem like it's going to be the movie. It really wasn't that way. Superman was so nice in this. He was so perfect and good all through this movie in every way he could be. He didn't even want to really fight the Batman. He was just trying to save some people and to bring some justice. Even in the very end, it was very emotional. I'll give away, I have to give away these spoilers. Today's Friday and it came out with this movie and they killed him. Superman dies in the end. He sacrifices himself to take down the real big bad guy that Jesse Eisenberg and as I've shown on my channel, if you watch my channel, we've exposed all this, that the USA, CIA and the world governments are, they are controlling all of the terrorism around the world. This ISIS group is manufactured and controlled by the CIA and the world governments. That is what's done in here with him. It's like all of the world is giving this guy the power in the movie. The CIA gives him all the power. It was really bad about that part, about the CIA. This guy and the CIA were running everything and deceiving everything. They were the real bad guys. In the end he gets caught, but the CIA secret people get away with everything. Wonder Woman played a fantastic role through all there. She did really good in the fight, and she used all of her talents with her ropes, and her sword was really good. But the whole movie came down to about, let's get here, Excalibur. When the movie first opens, it shows Batman and the scene with his parents, and there's a big sign about Excalibur. And then in another scene, it shows Batman as the child rising from the bottomless pit of the abyss, that he represents the 911 beast, Revelation 911. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. And that was the Batman. He literally rose out of a pit. But it was all about getting this sword, Excalibur. That's what they kept talking about. The sword to them was the rock, was a meteorite that they got from the bottom of the ocean. A big piece of kryptonite they could believe that they could control Superman with, the CIA and Russia. I've shown this before, that they're already working with Russia. See Obama, Apollyon, your Batman, working with Germany, with China, and with Russia to start the new world order. And they have the stone in the hand, right there. That stone is really right in there and it's going to be the new Eucharist as we've shown. This is all the new world order rising up. And there will be no more Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church will make everybody start doing beads and Mary worship. Unfortunately, this is going to be hard to realize. She's not that good of a girl. In the very end of the movie, it's her and Batman ready to start a new world order. It's shown right here in this mural. This represents Jesus Christ's side of grace and mercy and then this stone comes, Satan and his angels, and they go into this hole and rise up with their new Antichrist. Right there, Prince William, 
There's your Batman character down the hole now, and it'll be like Obama. And there's your Wonder Woman. In the Bible, she's actually called the Woman of Wickedness. And Israel rising for Zion and the New World Order, as we've shown before. That's what it means. That's why this woman... Th this is funny, too. She thinks she gets the part because she's, you know, a perfect actress. The only reason Gal Gadot got this part, well, because she is pretty and does this, but she's from Israel. It represents the woman of Israel and all of them rising with the New World Order. Now, through here, they literally call Batman the devil in the very beginning. And they call him It, I-T, through there, as we've shown before. Jesse Eisenberg was a terrible character. This was probably the biggest flaw in the movie was him. He did not play a good role. As Lex Luthor, he, it was very bad. But he was working with the CIA and he did have all the things and he had that meteorite representing and they got the meteorite out of the ocean. Revelation 1821. You, you know that today the, the movie came out and today they showed Superman dying in his casket. Just as here on Easter weekend, Jesus Christ died on the Friday and was rose on Sunday at that point. See that there? Same symbolism. The meteorite represents the Revelation 18 millstone. And the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. This is what happened in the movie. They found the stone in the ocean, and then the violence started, and then everything was torn down. Literally. And then in the end, he died. Because he had to take the spear that the devil, Batman, was going to use to kill him with. Batman has the kryptonite and the spear and is trying to kill him. It's really a sad movie, guys. I, I, I literally cried at the end. I, I don't know how to say it. Superman was literally begging this guy to help come save his mother. He didn't care. He was going to kill him. The only reason he stopped is because it was his same mother's name, Martha. He was going to kill him just like that with his spear at the very end Superman had to take the spear and sacrifice himself to take down the big abominations confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus believe in your heart God hath risen him from the dead and you'll be saved hallelujah go see the movie there's all kinds of symbolism it shows the sword coming it shows the spear Thank you very much, everybody. Hallelujah. Celebrate Easter, please.